RGB is dead. Long live RGB. People have so many thoughts on RGB. Some love it, want their whole house to look like a unicorn just vomited literally everywhere. Some think it's like the dumbest thing ever and just want it to die in a fire. But today I'm talking about something a little bit more subtle, maybe, and in my mind more useful. The immersive experience of Philips Hue Play. What's going on everybody? Jeremy with Detroit Tech. If these are uneven, blame the cat. Quite a few years ago, Philips came out with a TV that had backlighting on it that would like shine on the wall behind your TV to help you immerse yourself in the movie or show like even more. I never had one of those, but the Hue Play package actually lets me do that for actually a much cheaper price. I'll put a link in the description below if you're actually interested in purchasing these and supporting the channel. Let's take a look at what's included in the package. So I got a two pack, so you get two lights, one power brick with three power ports, these little mounts right here on hardware to mount them, even including some 3M adhesive if you wanna like stick it to the back of your expensive monitor or TV, and nice little Allen wrench. These are of course the classic Hue RGB lights, 16 some odd million colors with massive control via the app and your voice via, via you know Apple, Google, or Amazon Assistant of your choice. For more detailed look at those functions and how I use the Hue lights in my house, you can check out this video right here. But what's the point of these lights and why are they best suited for that point? The point of these is to hook up to basically a computer, put them behind your monitor and let them shine on the wall, like behind to immerse you in whatever's on your screen. To do that, once you get your lights set up in your app, you have to set up like an entertainment area and place the lights in the correct spot in the area on your phone. On your computer, you download, install the Hue Sync app, choose the correct entertainment area, and you're off and running. This app is where you actually get to choose how you're using your lights. So you can use them just to kind of set a scene and light the room for like, just light the room. They can light the wall behind what's happening on like the game you're playing or the movie you're watching or have the lights react to the music playing on your system. If you'd like something more like a, you know, a tutorial on really how to get something like this set up and running, leave a comment down below for us too. So personally, I love it. I mean, is this necessary to have? Absolutely, like no question. No, they're not necessary, not at all. But it's great to sit and listen to music, turn off the main lights in my office, just chill out with a cool like little light show. I've started playing games with this as well. It helps me focus just a little bit more. Also helps me realize when I'm getting shot and from what direction. I, I'm not great at games, but I definitely enjoy playing Apex Legends. And uh, you know, when the right side of my wall suddenly flashes red, it's a much bigger indication that I'm getting shot, which I definitely need. The other cool use would be to use it behind your TV. As far as I can tell though, you do need to be using something like a home theater PC or be streaming or casting from a computer that has the sync app installed. The data all runs through the app to know what color and brightness they need to be and when to change. Now, it's not all rainbows and candy for these things. For these to really make a difference, your room one needs to be dark. So unless you have light blocking shades or your room just has no windows, there's only really so much they'll be able to do during the day. Oh, and they're in a similar price bracket as other Hue products as well. I got the two pack here for $130. Also, because the cues for the lights has to pass through the software and then out to the lights, there's a little bit of a delay, like when listening to music and some inaccuracies, some inaccuracies with the lights during music. They're not quite on time and if there's like a lot happening, the lights just kind of morph around. It's not like a deal breaker for me at all, but it could be for some people. Which brings me to the other question I posed. Why use these? I mean, you can get Hue Blooms, two of them, for $10 cheaper, so what's the point? Honestly, these are actually built better for this use case. I love my Blooms. I even added them into the entertainment area because I just kind of had an extra one. But the play lights get a bit brighter and they're in a form factor that allows multiple ways of mounting them and provides more light coverage due to this bar shape. I personally have them standing straight up with the bloom filling out the middle. That's really because I need them to stand vertically due to the desk space. Also because I had the bloom just kind of shining in the corner, so I figured I'd just add more light, why not? The other big reason is three Hue play lights will only take up one single outlet space. So each power brick has three ports. Each bloom would need its own outlet. The Hue team was very smart in making these products so they don't overlap so they can make all of the money. So, which I guess brings me to my conclusion. I like these things. They're, yeah, a little bit expensive, sure, but it's a fun way to really just kind of spice things up without having it like seem like a unicorn vomited everywhere. And I do find it actually helps me get a little bit more immersed in whatever I'm doing. I'll never say you need this though. I'm never gonna say you need it. It seems ridiculous to you, then this is definitely not the product for you. Otherwise, 
go ham. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you let us know in the comments below if you'd like to have a more detailed how-to video for setting these up and we'll catch you in the next one. And it goes like